Happy 4th of July, Chiefs Kingdom. Hope you guys are enjoying your day. Let me know, how are you celebrating today? Uh, I watched Joey Chestnut uh, eat 63 hot dogs and then stranglehold a protester today. So uh, that's what I've been doing, plus bring you today's show, of course, because, hey, some of us work on 4th of July. Let me know how you're celebrating, and as always, be safe, uh, especially if there is alcohol involved. Today's Chiefs Report is presented by Aura, an all-in-one digital safety provider that's going to keep you safe online. Try a 14-day free trial today at Aura.com slash chatsports. That link is in the comments. It's also in the description of this video, Aura.com slash chatsports. All right, let's get you guys caught up on the latest Chiefs news and rumors here on Independence Day, uh, which means uh, we are well into July, and training camp will be here before we know it. Could the Chiefs trade Lucas Niang? First time I've seen this floated out there. Bleacher Report dropped another article of one player every team should trade before week one. They link, linked uh, Niang as the player for the Chiefs, a guy who's recovering from a torn patellar tendon, which is obviously a nasty injury uh, for Mr. Niang. And, you know, I hadn't really considered this idea because A, he's recovering from injury, and B, I still think he can be a state, uh, a good player, a staple on the right side of this offensive line at right tackle. Here's Bleacher Report's thought on this. Uh, the Chiefs took Niang in the third round of the 2020 draft after opting out of his rookie campaign because of COVID. Uh, Niang started nine games last year. In January, he suffered a torn patellar tendon. Andrew Wiley filled in admirably, uh, which is true. And Andrew Wiley is back. And, you know, if I had to guess right now, good chance he's your week one starter if Niang is not quite ready yet. And I think that's part of the problem is we have no clue when Niang will be healthy. Uh, Andy Reid talked about it during OTAs. He's still recovering. He's coming along, but it's kind of unclear what his status is going to be moving forward. But uh, when he has played, he's played pretty well, so I'm still fairly high on Lucas Niang. Now, subscribe to the channel if you love the Chiefs and if you love the United States. We'll have Chiefs news, rumors, updates, live shows and more uh, to come throughout the off season. We're taking a bit of a break on our live shows because it's the slower part of the off season, but we'll pick those back up uh, as we get closer to the 2022 season. So subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to join the Chiefs report. Should the Chiefs trade Lucas Niang? Type T for trade, type K for keep. Let us know in the comments, should the Chiefs trade Mr. Lucas Niang? T for trade, or you can type K for keep. Now, if he's fully healthy, I, I absolutely think he's your starting right tackle. Andrew Wiley, who's a guard-tackle hybrid, uh, he would probably start uh, week one if Niang isn't ready to go. Uh, so you've got some insurance there. Jaron Christian is a guy who can play. Uh, also, Darian Kennard, who they drafted in the fifth round, has some upside as well, is a potential right tackle option. But I think you're okay there. Wiley is capable. So you could take it two ways. One, you've got other options. So, yeah, you could shop him and see what's out there. But two – how high is Lucas Niang's trade value currently? I mean, it can't be that high, right? I mean, you're talking about a guy that, yes, he was a third-round pick two years ago, but he opts out of his first year uh, due to the pandemic. And this past year, played nine games before getting injured with the torn patellar tendon. So he hasn't played a ton of football. He's played pretty well when he's played, but I can't imagine you'd get more than like a fifth for him right now. So I don't think trading him really makes much sense. Plus, I would rather keep him and see if he can d develop into a really good tackle than to just take like a day three pick off of someone's hands. Now, Aura is sponsoring today's show. And uh, listen, uh, millions and millions and millions of people get hacked every single year. They're coming after your finances, your debit card, credit card, online shopping. They can get your card information that way. Aura is going to monitor online activity and send you updates if there's suspicious activity going on. Identity theft, it happens all the time. Uh, I had a cousin had his ID stolen a few years ago. Pain in the you-know-what uh, to get that straightened out. Overall, online and device security. My Twitter, personally, was hacked in college to the point I didn't get it back. I had to create a new Twitter. It wasn't a huge deal then because I only had like 150 followers. But now, you know, 4,000 is not a huge number. But if I lost my Twitter, I'd be pretty pissed if I had to start from scratch. Or is going to keep you secure. They're going to keep you safe. And they've got family plans up to five people as well. Stay safe online. We do everything online. 14-day free trial at Aura.com slash chat sports check the comments check the description we'll have you covered over there at aura 
Okay, uh, how about signing Carlos Dunlap as we continue with our Chiefs rumors? Rundown, Pro Football Focus listed Dunlap as a potential target for Kansas City. Coming off a solid year in Seattle. I'll be honest, I looked up the numbers and I was like, wow, he was actually pretty damn good for the Seahawks a year ago. I think he could actually be a pretty solid Melvin Ingram replacement, maybe even a little better as a pure pass rusher. Carlos Dunlap uh, was good a year ago, had nine sacks, uh, Batted down seven passes as a defensive lineman as well. A forced fumble. Carlos Dunlap is still, at worst, a good rotational piece and, at best, a quality starter. Uh, he was kind of like a number three edge for Seattle last year. He should have started, though. I never got what they were doing there. If he started, he probably would have had 10-plus sacks. Uh, but not to beat a dead horse here, but we've talked about this for months now. The defensive end position in, C in Kansas City is not strong. You've got Frank Clark, who is an okay player. You've got George Karloftis, who has upside, but we don't know what he's going to be. Michael Dana is a good rotation player, but he is not a high-level starter. Joshua Kando, we don't know what he's going to be. I would take Carlos Dunlap in a heartbeat. Yeah, he's 33 years old, but you know what? Uh, look at that. You can't look at that depth chart and be like, yeah, we're loaded at defensive end. No, the Chiefs aren't. Like they, they need another player at that position, in my opinion, unless they know something we don't, which they very well might. They're around these players way more than we are. Uh, but I just I, I look at it on paper, and I'm like, this is a poor unit at defensive end. That's just how I feel about it. So I would take Carlos Dunlap. I think he would help, as would several other players that are still available in free agency. What do you think? Should the Chiefs sign Carlos Dunlap? Type S for sign, type P for pass. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Now, Chiefs Kingdom, a lot of you guys that watch are subscribed to the channel. Turn on that notification bell if you are. I think only like 17, 18% of you guys have notifications turned on. Uh, you, what does that mean, Harrison? Well, after you subscribe, you click that bell, then a couple of options are going to pop up. Select all. That means every time we publish a video, every time we go live, YouTube will send you a notification on your mobile device. Oh, hey, the latest Chiefs report is out. Click on it. Boom. You can catch up on the latest Chiefs news and rumors uh, before anyone else. So subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, but once you do, hit that bell icon and have those noties turned on. All right. Is Patrick Mahomes the top franchise cornerstone in the NFL? Bleacher Report uh, named Mahomes as the top cornerstone in the National Football League. Here was their list of top 10. From 1 to 10, Mahomes, number 1. Josh Allen, Bills quarterback, number 2. Joe Burrow, number 3. Lamar Jackson, number 4. I was a little surprised he was that high. Justin Herbert, number 5. TJ Watt, first non-quarterback, number 6. Miles Garrett, Cleveland edge, number 7. Nick Bosa, Niners edge, number 8. Quentin Nelson, the best pure offensive lineman in football, number nine. And then Justin Jefferson, the highest receiver. I was a little surprised by this at number 10. I think it's pretty clear Mahomes is the most valuable asset in the league. If he were to get traded, it would cost 10 first-round picks. And I still would probably say no if I was the Chiefs, uh, which is uh, crazy to think about. But that's just what we're talking about. You know, we're dealing with the player who is on such a historic start to a career. And everybody, all these people are just bitching and bitching how the Chiefs lost to the Bengals and they, they choked, this and that. This guy, what he has done since taking over as the starter in four years as a starter, look at the numbers he's put up. Almost 20,000 passing yards, over 150 touchdowns. Oh, and by the way, yeah, last year he had 13 of them, but 37 picks in four years, that's a very low number. The QB rating is off the charts. No one has done what this guy has done uh, from a statistical standpoint. And you're saying, well, you know, in those, those numbers are inflated because it's a bigger passing league now. Okay, well, yeah, he wins two. Four AFC championship games, two Super Bowl appearances, one win. Everybody's like, well, they choked last year. They, they lost in overtime in the AFC title game. Yeah, they blew that game, but my God, I mean, do we, want, do we expect this guy to win the Super Bowl every year? Like, yes, every team in the NFL, including the Bills, by the way, with Josh Allen, would take Patrick Mahomes before anyone else. I am very confident when I make that statement. Uh, he's the best asset in the league. I'll ask you guys, because uh, I've seen some of the comments. Some of you guys aren't convinced. I mean, I don't know what else you have to see. Type Y for yes, type N for no. Is Mahomes the best asset in the NFL? Oh, and by the way, the amount of money he's bringing the Chiefs, everybody complains about the contract too. That contract is already starting to look like a steal. Like, he, people are going to top that annually, like this year. And he's got, like, what, nine years left on the deal? I mean, it, it, it's just ridiculous, some of the takes out there. Why for yes, in for no. Is Mahomes the best asset in the NFL? 
All right, that's it for my rant. Appreciate you guys for indulging me. Again, please subscribe, turn on the noti bell. Uh, we'll continue to bang out uh, Chiefs news and rumors videos for you guys. Uh, by the way, I am going on vacation, so you might see another face or two uh, over the next couple of weeks. We'll have some other videos go out from me during this time, but if there's big news that drops, like Orlando Brown uh, contract, I, I was hoping to be done by now, uh, or anything else, uh, then uh, stay in the know. We'll have you covered at Chat Sports. Uh, don't worry about it. You just may not see me uh, on a couple different videos over the next two weeks because I am going on vacation. All right, subscribe. Appreciate you guys. We'll see you soon here on the channel.